नमस्कार वेलकम टू अ सब मॉड्यूल दैट विल प्रोवाइड अ क्विक समरी ऑफ द कोर्स ऑन इंडियन इथोस एंड ह्यूमन क्वालिटी डेवलपमेंट इन भारतीय नॉलेज ट्रेडिशंस लर्निंग थ्रू एनालिसिस ऑफ वर्ड्स इज अ सॉर्ट ऑफ टेक्निक फॉर गेनिंग नॉलेज सो लेट अस अडॉप्ट दिस टेक्निक फॉर अ क्विक रिविजन ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट we will begin with the meaning of word bharat which is multiple meaning that depend upon the context of the usage bharat may mean descendants of great king bharat not the brother of shri ram or the other one from mahabharat just like bhagwan krishna uses it in multiple times in bhagavad gita to address arjun another meaning of bharat is something which is enlightened and it does enlightens others we have gyan yoga we have bhakti yoga we have karma yoga vigyan is a part of our bharat aastha is a part of bharat and most importantly the shraddha and vishwas are part of bharat bharat has diversity plurality spirituality sanskrit vidya festivals and so on when we get up in the morning we apologize to our motherland for putting feet on her and she like a mother welcomes us with a beautiful sunrise provides water to drink food to eat and air to breathe samudra vasane devi parvatastana mandite vishnu patni namastubhyam padas parsham shamasvame I did not keep saying something about Bharat which is infinite in nature it is more like a varnaniya ka varnan so let us proceed now we have a concept called ethos what is ethos from etymology we can see that it's a genius of a group of people characteristic spirit of a time and place habitual character and disposition moral character customs so basically it's about samskriti and dharma please do not equate dharma with religion here dharma is a very vast concept which covers duties responsibilities roles accountability and as religion is a very narrow concept as compared to it samskriti is about sams plus kriti something which has been developed over the time and has got refined over the time so let us look at few dimensions of the bharti ethos shorya the children of bharat mata beat women or men have been known for their valor the sacrifice and the contributions made to the society by following their call of duty another is vidya vidya arjan has been a silent feature of the bharti sanskriti which has produced lineages with the exceptional knowledge capabilities at the same time the softer dimensions of knowledge of light of jyoti of prakash of prem of bhakti of aastha of innocence can get as powerful as mighty weapons and they can even help us win over bhagwan who has already acknowledged by saying main bhagatan ko das bhagat me mere mukut mani bhagwan becomes das of his devotees of her devotees because bhagwan has both feminine and masculine dimensions in bharat so bharati sanskriti is a marvelous creation which creates civilizations like bhartiya one
now it is important to understand how these things unfold so this is exceptional and the highest form of the achievement needs human quality to be developed to that level so here are few tools techniques frameworks and approaches for the same first we try to take ourselves from the darkness to the light we move towards the satvik mode asatoma sadgamaya tamasoma jyotirgamaya mrityorma mritangamaya however we do this in a nishkam karma mode karmanne va adhikar aste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phal hetur bhur ma te sangostho karmani by offering the fruits of action to bhagwan by performing all our worldly duties but on the foundations of dharma to do this we develop our physical capabilities we develop our intellectual capabilities we also develop our practical skills which are the need of the time and the aesthetic sense more importantly all these on the foundation of dharma on the foundations of values and morals for what we do all this to achieve the purpose of life that is moksha this was in short the course on indian ethos and human quality development hope you found the course useful and it had some positive impact in your life i am also a student of bharati sanskriti and prone to errors so kindly forgive for any mistakes made in this course we trust that wisdom's approach of developing a balance of reasoning and intuition in our students played an important role in your life and keeps on playing an important role in your life thank you for watching the video namaskar